Rev up your engines! Today we're going to talk a little bit about the five things that really, really made me wrong. You see, the first thing that I was wrong about was somebody asked me if undercoating from the dealership was something that should be done. And I said no because they're undercoated when they're assembled. And well, you know, because it's a Toyota doesn't always mean it's the right thing to do. <laughs> I told this person that when they're undercoated, when they're being built, that's good enough. And I did not take into consideration that half of North America lives in the Rust Belt. So I was wrong. I was wrong. Now we all know that I'm not a really big fan <laughs> of Ram pickup trucks. I recently stated that they outsold the Chevy Silverado in 2018 and I think that I said that at the time it was a, a race to the bottom and well guess what I, I, I think I was I think I was wrong and sometimes when I make these videos I just want to sit here in front of the camera and I really all I want to do is talk a little bit of nonsense you all know I'm biased. You all know that all I ever want to work on is Toyotas. And if I sent everybody that I knew to go buy a Toyota, then I know that I would never ever have anything to work on myself. <laughs> but at the end of the day, that's what I drive. I drive this Celica and my wife drives a Camry. So that's all I ever really wanted to do was make sure that we're driving something that's really reliable and that we don't have to work on because you know, this channel that I have with almost three million subscribers doesn't really pay me that much. Because you all know that over the last 50 years or so, I was a mechanic and because I was a mechanic for 50 years, I figured it was probably time to retire and go on this whole YouTube thing and see if I can fill people full of bull crap because of my biased opinion on Toyota. But at the end of the day, when I was a mechanic, I really didn't do a very good job anyways because all I was able to do was sit and talk to the car and, and my, I just couldn't control my hands so I couldn't hang on to any tools. I, I couldn't work and, and, and pull plastic apart on these new cars because they're all made of plastic. <laughs> but I, anyway, my hands, they just kind of do what they want and all I ever do is just flail around like crazy in front of my three million subscribers and fill them full of dung. So if you never want to miss another one of my car repair videos, ring that bell! Well guys, I just want to say one thing, that second to blowing up bubbles and last year's April Fool's Day video, um, this had to be one of the funnest videos I had to record. Uh, I literally had to read and memorize most of that from script because I just, I had a hard time putting the words down with the hands going and the voice. My throat is actually sore right now. and. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and the reason why I did this video uh, was a, a couple of things and, and the biggest one is that this video is going up on the two year anniversary of the Old Car Auto Guy channel. On January the 18th of 2018 I uploaded my first video and if you want to go take a look at that I'm going to post that here. It's, uh, it's kind of funny to go back two years ago and see what I was doing then and see how um, dry I guess I really was back uh, back then and maybe I still am and I just don't realize it but anyway uh, two it's the two-year anniversary of the of old car auto guy and yes we've made some changes uh, yes the name of the channel may be changing in the, in the near future uh, the branding is, is changing a little bit uh, focusing a little bit here on Dale uh, also on the uh, on the old Chrysler Cordoba and on grandma uh, are the three big project cars that we have right now Grandma being a daily driver, 04 Grand Marquis, if you're just joining us. And uh, the Chrysler Cordoba is a car that I've had uh, since I was 22 years old. And uh, anyways, lots of stuff, lots of work coming up on both of these. In the next video uh, of the Dale project, you will see the tearing apart of the front suspension and lowering it four or five inches and uh, getting it back down on the ground before we start kind of, you know, reassembling everything, putting it back together. Here I am using my hands like the other guy. Anyway, this week the Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be on Straight Six Fan's channel. I will put a link in the uh, description box down below. You can check that out. And uh, we uh, we will have another special guest, and it's going to be a great 
how-to channel if everything comes together uh, that we can share with all the uh, YouTube channels that watch us. So I hope you guys will be able to stick around for that and join us. Um, at eight, uh, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, uh, and I'll be on uh, Grant Tommy's channel, who is Street 6 fan. Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts, hoodies, all that swag is available in the link in the description box below. I hope you can head over there on my Spreadshirt store, which is another way to support this channel, other than watching and commenting on my videos, which I really appreciate, by the way. And uh, like the other guy said uh, in the previous part of this video, if you haven't done it already, please consider subscribing to Old Car Auto Guy. We've got lots coming. So stay focused on the windshield, guys, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. And thank you for two years of Old Car Auto Guy.